uh, to make sure that people cannot legally resist these types of vaccinations is itself the threat. Because even if this vaccine is perfectly fine and perfectly safe, can we guarantee that for the next one or the right. next next one or when they start talking about biometric measurements or well we'll just have to have some sort of quantum dot tattoo we'll have to start injecting nanoparticles in order to have vaccine updates in the future uh, people really don't understand the type of research that is going on right now into injectables and bioelectronics of various sorts that in the future will not be vaccines as we have known them. Whatever you think vaccines are, they will not be uh, what, what is coming a, a decade or two down the line, but those mandates will already be in place. Well, you gave up your bodily autonomy during COVID-19, so now we've established that precedent. And I think that's an important precedent for these people to establish right now. Now, you you know, I know in your speaking, and when we talked about doing this, there's several categories that are probably of equal weight, even though we see this huge circle one of them is education, and this is something that was in your podcast. I just want to play uh, this this podcast um, using a Sesame Street character to get an idea across. Take a look at this. Hello, everybody. It is I, your cute and adorable pal Grover, with a message for listeners of the Great Reset. Well, you are in luck because I know a thing or two about resetting. Mm-hmm. I reset my alarm clock every morning. <laughs> but you are talking about resetting the entire world. Now that is a very big job. Well, my friend Ms. Sherry Weston and I are here to help. On Sesame Street, we know that it is very important for children to learn and play every day. And because playtime is so important, we have been thinking of ways to help children all over the world learn and play at home. At first, it was hard when nobody could go to school, and I could not visit my friends like Elmo or, well, even Oscar the Grouch. Then we learned to have video playtime, which was a lot of fun and made us feel better. I can't, I mean, that video is so terrifying to me, uh, especially in light of multiple things we're seeing in the news right now. We're seeing a bill in Washington, D.C. that's going to allow 11-year-olds to be vaccinated without their parents' consent and allows the doctor and the insurance company to doctor the records so the parents never know that that took place. I have also these stories about in the online learning, parents signing that they will not eavesdrop on what their kids are being taught on video. Um, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, this is where I'm at. There's something much more, you know, much bigger and potentially sinister. I mean, I, I imagine the people involved in this must think they've got it right and they're going to save the world. But it is incredibly terrifying to know that our children, they see the power of our children. If we can shift the mindset of the children, like we're seeing it with college students, right?